the Banco Central ng Pilipinas reports foreign investments surged to a two-month high in March as equity placements came pouring in amid stronger optimism towards the Philippines. We have with us Melissa Luz Lopez, senior reporter of Business World, and she will be reporting live from our newsroom in Quezon City. Uh, Mel, was this expected? Yes, Robbie. Um, foreign direct investments reached $682 million in March, and that is 27% higher from the investments we received a year ago. While the growth is quite phenomenal, it's actually not surprising as investments have been growing by double digit over the past few months. We received $573 million in February and a little over $900 million back in January. And that optimism among investors is being fueled by solid economic fundamentals and robust economic growth that the Philippines is experiencing. That's what the central bank has been has said. Robbie? Mel, FDI last year hit uh, just a little over $10 billion. The target for 2018 is, is also around $10 billion. Do these uh, figures nearing the halfway point uh, uh, indicate uh, the viability of hitting those targets by the end of the year? Well, we're really off to a good start. Uh, given the strong investment figures that we got for the first quarter, we are now at $2.2 billion. And that's for three months alone. And we're, it's also already 44% higher than the $1.5 billion that the country received in investments during the first quarter of 2017. So it's really on the right track towards hitting that $10 billion projection. And some analysts are actually saying that it, we can even surpass that target and reach a new record high for investments. Okay, nonetheless, are there any issues or risks being flagged looking ahead? Well, Although the growth is seen sustained, some analysts have flagged that rising interest rates both locally and abroad, as well as possible changes to the tax regime here, which include the fiscal incentives that they are enjoying, could dampen or affect the investment climate. But we haven't seen that feeding in into the investment story as far as the first quarter figures are concerned. Okay, that was Mel Lopez joining us from the Business World uh, News Center in Quezon City.